Um, in this year's Dasur Quran, Hazrul mentioned the saying that if a person praises another person, then the praised person is ruined by this praise. Hazrul, my question is, how is it that an innocent person who did not ask to be praised can be ruined by someone else's mistakes? I never said that, did I? Who told you this? No, I was listening to the dogs. General translation? English translation. And from there you prepared general translation? No. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what has been misinterpreted, mistranslated. That's the problem with my sermons and verses. When they are translated as a learning commentary, when the person has not time enough to listen to me properly, and while he is translated, I have said so many other things. So he has a vague idea what I might have said during that period. So ultimately what it he says which is attributed to me, I don't know, you know. <laughs> Sometimes things are completely distorted. So the best, best thing is to wait for a regular translation. This is only to, you know, supply something of a gist translation or that. that. The rest is just a guesswork and uh, because I have repeatedly said things on important matters, otherwise in other places, directly in English and they have been translated properly in other languages. So that should be the guideline. We should direct you in understanding my running commentary verses. You understand? This is what you have said is it's impossible. I couldn't have said that. that. Innocent people would be prayed against and they will be destroyed. But whatever she has said must have some background. Do you remember what I said? Because similar thing might have been said in a different context. Now what have you understood from her statement? Uh, she said that if somebody is praised and he does not uh, like to be praised... Prayed against? Praised. Right. Oh, oh. Praised. Huh? Yeah. praised. Yes, praised. That's a different thing altogether. I'm sorry. I thought you said prayed. <laughs> and during Ramadan prayers, prayers are accepted more than in other days. So that misled me to understand you differently, which you did not mean at all, in fact. Now clarify yourself, please. I'm sorry for that. Huh? Somebody is praised. Yes, if somebody prays somebody else, yes, and then um, this praise comes back on the, the same per uh, on the person who gets praised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better to, that a person prays another person, mm -hmm. and then the praised person mm -hmm. is ruined by the praise of this person. And then you said that uh, the translator said that oh, you should always only say that, uh, but only God knows. Oh yes, I understand that text, the context in which this was said. It's a, it was a bit too complicated for the translator to clarify. What Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said was this: that if you praise somebody over much and he takes it into his heart that he is like that, then that person is ruined. You should be careful in expressing your views about someone. And at the end you should say, this is what I think. But Allah knows best. That would put him on guard against believing that he is really a good man. So it will not uh, make him arrogant and proud. When you say Allah knows best, then he will fear Allah and say, maybe he thinks I am so good, but I am not. This was the tech context in which I said that, and that's right. Now it's clear? Yes. Good. Exactly.